this problem <coughs> is on a circular lamina problem number 47 new solution book a circular lamina of 50 mm diameter is standing with one of its points on the rim on HP and the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to HP the diameter at, at right angle to the diameter which is passing through the point on which, which the lamina rests is parallel to VP draw the projections yeah. Let's see the conditions given. The first condition is which is resting on HP with one of its point on rim. One of its point. This point, let's consider this point as resting on point on HP. And the lamina makes 45 degree to HP. This is the first condition. Lamina makes 45 degree to HP. Then second condition is the perpendicular and diameter perpendicular to the diameter passing through the resting on point resting on point is this one and the diameter passing through this point is this diameter the diameter perpendicular to this diameter is this one this this will be parallel to pp so that you should rotate this like 90 degree so you will get it is parallel to vp this is the condition okay first is resting on point one of the point on rim and lamina makes 45 degree to HP and the perpendicular diameter to the diameter passing through the resting one point makes it will be parallel to VP okay. this is the condition ok let's see how to solve this one first start with XY line next draw one circle of diameter 50 that is radius 25 25 radius draw on circle in hp on hp area that is in top wave. now we need to divide this circle into eight equal parts for that first draw one horizontal line draw on horizontal line and draw on vertical line in your grid book the horizontal and vertical lines will be there so no need to draw it again next take protractor mark 45 degree forty five degree on either sides the diameters at forty five degree. Now name the points from A, B, C, D, E, G and H. This center limit is O. Okay, next project it upward to get front view. Project all the points. these two points will be collinear area here these two points will be on the same line here name these points here this is a dash here b dash inside the bracket h dash here c dash and g dash here d dash and f dash e dash Make this as visible and even the circle as visible circle. Next in second position the condition given is the lamina makes 45 degree to 
HP. So select one convenient point and name that point as G dash. Mark 45 degree. Mark 45 degree. And draw one line, thin line. And take compass. First take A dash B dash. A dash B dash mark it over here. Then A dash C dash. A dash T dash. Finally, A dash E dash. Now name these points B dash and H dash, G dash, D dash and F dash, and E dash. Draw visible line. Now project it downward to get to top view, second position. First I will project these points. Project these points, then from here E dash to E, E dash to E, then D dash and F dash here D and F line, D dash and F dash to here, then C dash and G dash to C and G. This is G. And this is C. Okay, you can erase this extended lines area. Next B dash and H dash and finally A dash. Now name all these points A, B, e, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now you should connect these points with smooth curve, freehand smooth curve like this. Okay, now it uh, looks like an ellipse. You know, this angle is 45 degree. Next, in third position, the condition given is the diameter perpendicular to the diameter passing through the resting on point. Rest, the diameter passing through the resting on point is A E over here. Here AE and perpendicular to this diameter is CG. Here CG. This CG will be parallel to VP. So that this should be parallel to XY line. Now. For that, we need to reconstruct this. Reconstruct this. I will consider this E on over here. On this. Okay, you can select 
anywhere but it is easy to select on this x y line okay i will select this point this as e mm. then draw one perpendicular line vertical line transfer this distance okay this point is a mm. next you can select the midpoint of this you know it is 30 6 mm so take 18 mm midpoint and you can mark these two points also okay measure this and transfer these two points you know draw all the horizontal lines over here draw horizontal lines on all these points I think this is the easiest way to reconstruct this ellipse okay now it's an ellipse you should reconstruct this one now take this distance take this distance okay this distance will be same everywhere here on these four positions this distance will be same take any one distance over here and mark it over here and here here okay you got four points and two points are remaining take this distance this distance and mark it over here now we got all the points b c d e f g h okay join with smooth curve Okay, reconstruction is over then project the points upward to get the final position C here E dash to E here is E dash to E, then D dash and F dash here D dash is over here F is over here okay D and F okay. here the next C dash and D dash C dash and G dash so here G here this is C next B and H B dash and H dash up to here to erase all the extended lines mark the points Here, this point is a dash, a dash, and here this is b dash, d dash, sorry, c dash, d dash, e dash, dash, g dash, h dash. Now connect with smooth curve.
नेक्स्ट शो द डायमीटर करिए शो द डायमीटर 